How about that front eject? Today I'm going to show you a little bit more about how the ejection system on the MDR works. It's kind of hard to see with the lower receiver in place so I've removed it. Here you can see the bolt closing on the live round in the chamber and then we'll go backwards and extract it out. You can see how the ejection mechanism, the scissor there, pushes the case over into the ejection chute which is then expelled forward. Here's another angle you can see the expended case gets pushed into the chute and retained by that little ejection chute clip and then both the bolt head and the lug on the side of the bolt carrier push it forward out the chute as the bolt travels forward. One more time here so you can see how the bolt pulls it out and then the ejector presses it into the chute. It's then expelled forward at an angle but why forward ejection, some people would ask. Well, the main reason is to not throw brass into your buddy's face. That's always nice. It may or may not be your thing, but the nice part about the ejection chute on the MDR is it can simply be removed in the case of a jam or malfunction, and it'll just throw the brass out the side of the rifle as any standard semi-automatic rifle would. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments.